All right, let's come into our mountain pose for our warm ups. Shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. That core working to support your spine and just relax everything. Sink heavily down into that earth support. Just feel that earth pushing up, supporting your whole body. And then as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch out through your fingertips, keep your shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, shoulders still down, and then clasp your hands behind you. Press the hands to the floor, lift your heart, feel that back bend, stretch out, and then exhale and pin it over. Hands up, head down, circle your chin, release a little tension in your neck. Lift your hips, sitting bones up, stretching the back of your legs. And then bend your knees a little bit, keep the chin in and wind from the bottom of your spine all the way up. See if you feel all those bones moving along into the back bend as you lift your heart. Stretch your head back, keep the chin slightly down, not Lifted too much, letting that neck stretch along with the spine. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment scanning through your body, seeing what's going on for you today. And again, inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch out up through the crown, exhale to your heart, stretch to the front. And clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers in one position. Lift your heart, spread your toes, stretch your head, feel the back bend, and then pivot all the way over. Hands up, let those shoulders start working. We'll just feel something with them today. And again, tucking in your chin, winding all the way up from the bottom of the spine into the back bend. Lift your heart. Once more, as you get into the back bend, just stretch out through the whole body. Feel the earth support under your feet all the way up through the earth. Inhale upright, release your arms. And just take a moment feeling that response in the hand, that yoga perspective for you today. And let's keep one hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, keep the body facing forward, and lean to the side. So side stretch, lateral spine motion. Reach out through your head and fingertips, and push the foot you're leaning away from down for that more open. Deep breath. And then inhale up and release. Take a moment there, feeling the difference. Remember, yoga perspective, noticing what's going on. And then the other side to balance it out. Arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand up. Stretch the hands away, lean to the side. Remember, no twist, don't lean forward or up, just straight over. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that rib opening stretch as you reach the head and fingertips to the side. Keep breathing, lengthen. And then inhale and come up, exhale your arm down, and shoulders back and down, and get ready for our twist. So remember, face of the skull, face of the spine, stretch apart so you've got room to twist. Arms out, palms up, hands over your shoulders. Then gently clasp your elbows and bring your arms next to your ears. Spread your toes, weight even on both feet. Stretch that spine apart and exhale to either side. Take a breath. And as you exhale, come on over. Just deepen as much as you'd like, lifting your sitting bones, relaxing your arms, taking a few breaths. And deepening into that position. Keep the weight on both feet. And when you're ready, inhale your way up in the twist, just feeling what's going on through your spine. At the top, lift your heart, pull your elbows back, a little upper body back in, and then no pressure in your low back when you're twisted, especially. So lifting your heart, 
dropping your shoulder blades, lifting and then stretching. Inhale upright, exhale back to the center and switch your arms, balance it out, always. And again, stretch things in the side and twist to the other side. One more breath in and exhale, deepening over. And just allow your body to relax, doing what's right for you today. And once more, feel what's going on as you try to keep the weight on both knees either way as you can. Lifting the sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears, and then inhaling, work your weight up into that upper body. And again, only as much as your body wants to do today. Stretching and lifting and feeling that and it's not very in the upper body. And then lift upright, exhale around to the center, stretch your arms high and extended mountain, lengthening, sink evenly into your feet, feel that support. Notice if you need any adjustments to make everything feel even and comfortable. So this should be a position that you can just hold, just like mountain pose, even with your arms extended. And then pivot at your hips, come forward, keep your arms by your ears, and stretch flat, parallel to the floor. Stretch it out, sitting bones and crown and fingertips all the way up the Breathing, keep that rib area supporting your spine. Breathing, and exhale down in your elbow, just hang. Lift the sitting bones, stretch the back of your legs maybe a little bit more. Stretch the back even more with the hands behind your legs if you want to. And then hang again just briefly before you roll your way one more time, all the way back into mountain pose. As you get back to mountain pose, just feel your body. Notice how the circulation has increased, maybe warming you up a little bit as we begin to go. And then this backstroke and swimming getting the shoulders a little bit more circulation. So just allow the arm to come in close to your ear. Sink evenly into your feet. Just the whole body release any tension, feeling the spine turning to each side as you move one arm and then the other. And then bring both arms up, stretch one side high, coming up on the opposite toe. So you're lifting the heel on the other foot, and the side you're stretching stays flat. Those ribs really opening. Stretch it out through the fingertips and head, and push down into that foot. Feel those ribs maximize. Exhale down, do the other side. So again, the side you stretch, the foot is flat, the other heel is up, just gently into the toes. And again, reaching out through the head from the fingertips, everything stretching on that side. Exhale down, inhale the other one up. Really reach. See if you can go a little higher. Exhale and release. One more time on that third hand. Reach it out, lengthening, maximizing. Stretching and down with both feet, arms up, clasp your hands and press the palms toward the ceiling. Keep pressing out through the palms, arms by your ears, pivot at your hips, and again, hinge parallel to the floor. Push it out. Inhale all the way up. Switch your fingers so the other one's on the outside, and again, push up. So remember, we're habitual, that first play feels natural, this one may feel a little weird, that's okay. Work those wrists, press in the moment. Take a breath. This actually is a counter to that carpal tunnel thing. So stretch it out, keep pushing, arms by your ears, sitting bones go back as you hinge forward, ribs up toward your spine for support. Press out through the hips, out through the head. Shoulders toward your waist. Inhale back up. And separate your hands to shoulder level. 
Bring the palms up and spread your fingers. Circles. So keep stretching out through the fingers. Keep working those shoulders. And then small circles. And then stop, turn the palms down, and spread the fingers still. Let's keep stretching it out and circle the other way. Big circles to start, little ones to finish. And stop, stretch it out. And release. Circle the shoulders a few times, both ways. And into mountain pose. And then turn the backs of your hands toward your body. And just slide your hands up along your body. And then turn the palms toward you as you reach your head. And extend all the way up into extended mountain. Turn your hands, palms out. Pull it all the way out and back down to your spines. Again, hands, backs of your hands along your body sliding up. Turn your palms toward your head. Reach up toward the ceiling. Turn the palms out. Pull all the way down. One more time. Sliding up. Together. Out. Around. And down. And again, circle the shoulders and just release into mountain pose. Bring your hands together. We'll look at your hands and inhale them up toward the ceiling. Look at your thumbs coming into your back and lifting your heart, feet and ankles and hips lined up and the upper body back bending behind you. And exhale, follow those hands to your heart, and then on over at your hips, dropping your abdominal, just hanging, arms down toward your feet. Slide your hands onto your shins, right below your knees. Straighten your spine, elbow spine, and knees straight. Make sure those sitting bones and shoulder blades are going back behind you and the crown reaching the opposite direction. Stretching that spine open. Exhale, dropping your rag down. Knees slightly bent. Just turning your rag down. Let those shoulders drop even further. And then bend your knees and come all the way to child's pose for our floor transition. Heels back on your hips, toward your hips, forehead down toward the floor. Shoulders relaxing and just breathe. So take a moment there as deep as you want. Remember, if your knees or hips are too tight here, you can just put some padding behind your legs and give yourself a little breeze. Take a moment to breathe. Bring the knees together for that low back stretch if you love it or not. Always personal practice. Take another breath to rest, relax. And then inhale, sitting on your heels as much as you can. We're going to clasp the hands behind you, press the fingers toward the floor, and feel that heart open. Lengthen up through your spine. And then as you exhale, bring your hands up and your forehead down in front of you toward the floor. If you need to raise your hips to do that, that's okay. <clears throat> Take a breath. Just keep bringing the hands toward your head. Exhale. You can press the palms together or keep the heels of the palms separated, whatever works best for your wrists. Take a breath. Relax. You kind of roll those shoulders toward your head. And then inhaling, rotate your face forward and bring your hands down towards your feet as you sit back up into that kneeling position. And then switch your hands so the other fingers are clasped on the outside. And again, lift your heart. Hands pressing slightly toward the floor. Feel your whole body through the shoulders and arms, through the heart. Take a breath. And again, as you exhale, pivot forward. Hands coming up and coming toward the floor. Go as deeply as you like. Put your hips up or still on your heels, whatever works for your body. Hands coming toward your head. Shoulders toward your waist. 
deep breathing, palms together or not, your choice. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale and turn. And then tucking your chin again. And then lifting, looking to the front as you bring your hands back towards your feet, back up into your kneeling position. And release your arms. Just take a moment feeling all of that circulation through your upper body. And then let's release those feet and bring them out into staff position. Feet hip width apart, press out through your heels. Roll the toes back. Sitting bones, remember, slightly behind you. Get some padding if you need to. And shoulders above your hips. Keep that core working, supporting your spine. Stretch up through your core. Keep breathing always. And just feel your body in staff position. Exhaling in tightness. Take a moment to breathe. And then let's let's. Let's go into perfect posture. So if you'll remember from our seated positions the other day, bring your right foot up to your inner left thigh, knee up toward the side. And there's a little triangle at the top. So we're gonna take the left foot into that triangle as much as you can. And then just let your body kind of sink forward a little bit to a perfect posture. So, <clears throat> Take a moment there, breathe in. Let this knee just be wherever it is. That's okay. You can pat under it if it's really high up in the air and needs a little support. Take a moment to breathe. We're going to work the shoulders a little bit more. So shoulders back and down. Then take your hands, clasp the fingers together, turn the palms out and press them away. So feel the wrists opening. Keep the shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist. Keep the core active, supporting your spine. And don't forget to keep breathing. Just working those wrists and arms gently out. Pressing it out. And then inhale, keep the hands pressing in evenly through the base of the um, palms as you bring your hands over your shoulders as much as you can. Pressing it. Take a breath. If you've got a broken wrist like I have, it may work differently than the other one. Just keep noticing. And if you've got a carpal tunnel, this is actually good for you because the way carpal tunnel works, I've been waiting, is when you arch your hand in the keyboard position, that's what kind of cuts off that number. So you will be stretching it the opposite way from time to time like this. And then bring the hands back to the front and release to your lap. And again, switch the fingers in one position over so you're in that non habitual position and press them out again. And again, bring your left to shoulder level, pressing out through the heels of the fingers. Take a breath. Shoulders down, shoulder blades toward your waist, ribs in and up toward your heart, always keeping that core activated, supporting your spine. Just working those arms and shoulders to your capacity. Breathing into it, feeling what's different as you do this version. And then again, we're resting this up. Right above your shoulders, pressing out through the base of the palms. Take a breath, shoulder, shoulder blade still toward your waist. And exhale, any tension. And then bring the hands to the front and then sit down. So we're going to, of course, have to do our legs the other way. So bring the legs back out into staff position. Sitting bones behind you again, core activated, supporting and stretching up through your body. Exhale and relax. And then bring your left foot to your inner right thigh, knee out to the side. Repeat it the other way, just reverse it. Again, a triangle at the top for your other foot. Bring it up. And just notice your body kind of angles slightly to the side as it moves slightly forward, coming into that perfect posture. Helps keep your spine erect while we're in our seated position. So just let it be where it needs to be for your body. Just relax into it again. You can pad on this leg if that's necessary. Because remember, both hips, just like the rest of your body, are used habitually and they sometimes are not balanced. So take a moment to breathe, exhaling tension. 
remember one hand out to the front. Put your thumb inside, wrap your fingers around, and make your bed. We're doing a National Geographic slow time lapse photography, flower bloom pose. So the shoulder, shoulder blades are where? Down towards your waist, relaxing through the shoulder, pushing out through that fist, just laying this palm, other hand, feet, wherever it is. Tighten that fist, that bud of your flower fist, as tight as around your thumb as you can get it. Tighten, 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 tighten. And then just slowly, like that time lapse photography release of the flower petals, let your fingers blow. So keep the arm at shoulder level. Keep everything core activated and supported through your spine, through your body. As you're releasing those fingers, just slowly moving at a time. Stretching the fingers out whenever they get to their full bloom. And as they reach out, spread the fingers apart, turn the palm toward the sun and sky, pushing out through the heel of your palm as you pull those fingers back. Stretch it out a little bit more. Keep pushing through the palm, out, up through the fingers. Relax that shoulder as much as you can. And shake it out. And feel the difference on the two sides because not only did that work your fingers and hand, it works your whole side of your body. So yeah, we've got to do the other side. So once again, get comfortable, supported, erect, and bring your arm to shoulder. Thumb inside, wrap those fingers around it. Tighten your bed. So allow your whole hand just to clench into that fist as much as possible. Where is your shoulder? Down and supporting, not stressing or straining. The palm is right, the hand is right in front of you. Crown is toward the ceiling. Or is still supporting your spine. You're tightening, tightening, tightening through that fist. That bud is really ready to burst open. Take a moment, focus there, and allow your flower to begin blooming, letting those finger petals loosen just slightly, slowly, slowly, or that time release flower in that National Geographic special, just allowing those fingers to unfold. Stretching them out in one motion at a time, separating the fingers, spreading up, really feeling that whole hand working, arm activated, everything stretching, and those flower petals are pushing up to the sun, pushing out through the palm toward the sun in the sky. You let the palm going, pressing away as you activate the flower into that heliotropic angle up toward the sun, spreading that blooming, blossoming flower all into the sunbeams. Stretch it out. And then again, allow things to start releasing and then shake the whole arm. Come back in your seated position. Go ahead and lift your legs and bring your arms or your legs out into staff position. <clears throat> Take a moment, pressing through your heels, letting those legs release through the backs of the legs, through the heels. Out through the toes up toward the ceiling. Feel those kneecaps. Let them come kind of toward your thighs, tight in the front of your thighs. Just feel that whole leg lengthen along the hamstring on the back, pressing out through your head. Take a breath. Feel that cool. Breathe deep. And then bring your feet to the end of the mat. Shoulders back and down, core activated. And slowly lower it to the floor. As you get all the way onto the floor, just let your shoulders release. Turn your hands, palms up next to your sides. A little recline and devotion, letting everything just relax down into that earth support. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale on the gentleness. And a gentle twist for us today, bringing your arms to shoulder level, palms up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Sitting bones toward your heels, press that back gently down, and then bend your 
knees, bring your heels in right next to your sitting knees, feet flat. Press your back down, just relax and lift your feet off the floor, knees right above your hips. We're just rolling the knees over at hip level to the side, turn your head to the opposite side. Hands can be palms up or down, your shoulders. So knees coming down, lower back toes, just let it happen gently, don't force it. The knees may never make it to the floor, that's okay. Your toes down for support if you need to, or put a quick pillow underneath. Shoulders down, middle back twist, and head turning immaculate your chest. Remember, do what's right for your spine, especially in twists. Exhale, tension, just know what your body needs and just allow it to happen. Take a breath. The more you exhale, the more you release into the twist. Just gently let it happen whenever it works. And exhale deeply as much as you want. And when you're ready to release that, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. Straighten things out if you need to, lift your feet down. And when you get your knees above the hips once more, and roll them over to the other side, right at hip level. No need to lift them or push them down, just let them go. And turning toward that opposite side once more for your neck twist. Shoulders down, or that middle back in the twist, just breathe into it. Exhale, let it relax. And just allow the knees to come into their twist as much as they need them up today. Totally releasing any tightness. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. As always, just allow your twist as much as is needed at this particular moment in your body. Exhale, just relax a little bit deeper. And then heels toward your hips, you roll onto your back and bring your feet to the floor. Straighten things out, sliding your feet out, toes together, and then just releasing hip width apart into corpse position for a relaxation. Shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist, hands, palms up away from your sides. And let those shoulders drop into that surface beneath you. Deep breath in, and any tightness, and exhale. Let your body just sink, growing heavy, deepening into that surface beneath you. And just allow your body to relax anywhere, especially through the torso, shoulders, Wings and arms, just let them go. Exhale, let the feet relax, the arms, the legs, the hands, the whole face. Just let your body sink deep into that earth support and let it release from your awareness. As your body totally relaxes, just let it go, allowing any thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. And any other thoughts coming to your mind, just let them go as well. It's the job of your mind always to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Just let the thoughts drift away without attention. You don't need to be aware of the past or think about the future. Just let those thoughts drift away without any attention. Breathe me into that inner awareness of peace with within. Take a few moments to be peace.
to relax and just as long as you have time to do it. It's time to get activated for the rest of your day. Just to enjoy energy and awareness with the breath back to the mind, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more fully, begin stretching a little bit close to your feet. Breathing out freely, stretching you completely as your body needs to it. And when you're trying, finally ready for your yoga hug of appreciation, sending arms toward your heels, back gently down, heels up toward your hips, and knees up toward your feet. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, or it feels right for you today. And when you have a hug of appreciation, bring your head and feet to the floor. And if you have another minute, bring your arms out to two position. Wrap your thumbs over at the fists around your thumb and turn the one down and the one up. And we're just pushing out through the fists, getting a little back massage all the way across the arms and hands. So this one roll down and one up. And the shoulders really move with the rotation. And you can keep doing that as long as you are. And when you're ready to release, just let go of those fists. Turn your hands, palms up. We'll roll over to the side, head on the floor, and sit back up, getting ready. Everybody never say anything. Thanks for joining me.